hello guys welcome back to my channel um welcome back to another video it's a boy reggie um as you see in the title down below another day another time another monday happy monday by the way um the girls are still at it there are still some controversies there are still some touchy topics to talk about um I, i'm not doing a live again because i want to provide the receipts so we're going to just dive into this video but before that guys follow me on all socials the links will be down in my description if you care and let's just get straight into this video by the way guys before we start to dive in all the tea of it all guys i have an update for rj beauty we will be launching this summer i don't have a date for you as yet but um the products are on their way to me yes they're being shipped to me we're formal we're finalizing the packaging as it regards to the logo the packaging the press boxes and stuff like that we're finalizing all the details because i want to launch it by summer and stuff like that we have a, a few behind the, th the scenes things to work out because it's a legit business so we have to legalize all of the documentations and stuff like that and get that out of the way first but i tell you guys you guys are definitely going to love what we're cooking up it is so crazy that i've been this brand was a thought in my head two years ago and i decided last year to make the instagram and just start like i have no money i don't know where anything is going to start but i just start i just make a start and the lord made a way and he's continuing to make a way and i am so grateful cannot wait for you guys to see everything with that being said guys let's just jump straight into this video guys of course you guys know that i have my phone here because i don't want to miss any points i don't want to tell any lie on anybody so we're just going to um talk about it now first we have the beautiful shensia let me just throw her up right here so we know the song leak that is i think that's part of our album album alpha that is coming out in march um a promo song a single that she did with Megan Thee Stallion um, she got a lot of hate and a lot of backlash I did a video on that so click the link down below as well to watch that video alright so everything is now starting from scratch she's now getting backlash again why you might add because there's a video circulating on TikTok I'm not going to play the video I saw a little snippet of the video it is so disgusting but it's not really anything disturbing because the girls weren't naked however um, at that age, they are not supposed to be doing that, so it's kind of uncomfortable. I mean, on YouTube, take down my video for you know child pornography and all of that. If me can't even say that word, there, so me not go really show that. If you wanna see it, wanna see it. If you wanna see it, I'm going to describe. All right, so basically, what is happening? Shen says holding a leak challenge for promoting her song on her, where adults do their interpretation of the leak song and dance and do explicit moves and raunchy clothes and they go out with themselves. These two girls appear to be like seven and eight. And they were attempting to do the lick challenge, it seemed, because the song was playing in the background. One of the, the, the young ladies held up their feet and the other one was like um, in front of her, like longing out her tongue and, you know, doing this song and stuff like that. The song, the, the video went viral on TikTok and Shensia is getting a lot of backlash and a lot of hate for the song again. But also, Child Advocate spoke out, slamming the song and... Uh, they wrote a long post on the um the star let me just throw up the headlines here so that you can read guys pause to read and this is what they had to say all right so what is my take you cannot um hold the artist accountable because I, I i know for a fact when shensia was making the song lick she did not have children in her mind because i don't think that she's a bad parent or a bad role model because she do have a small son and i think as a parent your job and your responsibility is to be the eyes ears mouth tongue feet and everything for your child especially when they're seven and eight year old because they're not responsible for themselves and then i really have some time but an eight year old is big enough to know better but at, to all the country run and to all time modernize and they have access to everything these days you have to be more village um vigilant i should say as a parent so should shensia be getting the backlash 
Uno don't eat the song already. We get the facts on the eat the song already. Wow, 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 wow. Move on with my life. But you cannot blame her. She's not your she's not the mother of your children. So if your children is caught doing something that you're not supposed to do, don't blame the artist of the song. You only can blame yourself. What were you doing while the children was hiding and doing this? How did they get access to the song? When they hear first stay and know the song. Because although they can't hear it everywhere, because I don't make this and wherever. But as a parent, you're supposed to manage your child. You're supposed to manage your child. Your child has seven or eight. Why are they on TikTok? How did the video get out? Why are, why are they viral sensations on the internet doing the League Channel Challenge? You cannot blame Shensia. So a lot of persons are slamming the, um, slamming the song. Yes, I never like the song from day one. We get it. Move on. You cannot slam Shensia as an artist. You only have to slam your own parenting skill because if I had a child who was seven or eight years old, she would not know what lick was. Because guess what? But if I have my child under lock and key, even though when they're under lock and key, they still find a way to launch out and do bad things. But I still try to control my child in a way in which certain things are not said and done by them. So you cannot blame the artist for making their song. They don't make song for children, they make song for young adults and adults. So when I put the name to people on their head, blame nobody but herself. She's not the parents of your kids, so you can't blame her and say, I choose she makes song because bad song I make from the, the, the break in a time. She says it's not the first so, to make a raunchy song or an explicit song. I shana made um what the song of the name? Where the whole Jamaica they turn upside down, that song them. Um Yeah, I don't know exactly what I I shana didn't make the song them. Cartel make gun tune from the breaking of the day. Gaza, Goli, Clash, all of that. So, I don't know things are going to put enough for taking us. So, I don't know why everybody trying to put the blame on Shensia. My final verdict in this is that Shensia is not to be blamed. That's just, um, I'm just keeping it real gangster. That's just my opinion. Comment down below, guys. Let us have a conversation if you feel the same way with me. No, oh my God. Oh my God. Now, back to Marianne Hall. Guys, she is still talking. She is still talking. And she is still talking. Today is her Sunday service. I don't know why. But Sunday when she had her life, she not just give a word and then bite her tongue and mind her own business. But obviously, the spice say, if you haven't seen that video as well, I will link it up above right here for you. Click the link right Look at that right here. So to watch that video when Spice respond to her claims. She came out, guys, and she said some pretty serious allegations and we're going to break it down i'm going to drop the receipts and everything and all of that so basically guys she came out all right so let me just, deal, just talk about the simple one first all right mr elliot let me just throw her throw her on the screen the icon the legend that is mr elliot we know mr elliot far let me work it uh, let me work it i put the thing uh, for Peter. yeah legend so Marian Hall is alleging that um, she and Mr. Elliot were friends and um, what happened is that um, she, she never called her name, you know, but it can be geared towards Spice. She never called any name, she was a smurf blue ear. We know Spice is known for her iconic blue beautiful ear because our fans are allegedly named besties are the smurf gang, something like that. So I'm not really care. Um, so what she basically said is that um, they... The, the friendship that she and Mr. Elliot has came to a, 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 a screeching halt because persons intervened in the friendship, took it over, run go make song with her, and basically tell a lot of lies. And she was she, she was thrown under the bus and yada yada yada. Um, guys, as soon as you can see, I really care and stuff like that. But because I don't know why they constantly fight, like, can, can't you guys just. Respect each other, man, in their own business. Me not telling the son to come together and mix them up. We can't just man in their own business and just move on. Anyways, guys, this was what she had to say regarding the Miss Elliot story. Go ahead. When I went to do the song with Missy for myself, the, the lady who came with me, who took me to Missy because she worked with Missy and Mona Scott them. By the time she go down a few days before me and I went down, I saw her in my yard. I said, what's up with you? She looked vexed. She said, I heard your sister don't like me. I heard this and I heard that. I'm going to go into corporate and come out of this. This is my friend for years. The woman carried news to her and took her away from me. They blocked the song that Missy do with me. 
and she went and did a song with Missy instead. And then they're charging me, the Chinese girl who is now with her, charging me 25000 for the song that I just did with Missy. And then this lady have the nerve to say, you get your song yet from Missy? Because the song when me do with Missy, me do a song with her, and me not get it yet, and it's a summer song. And I'm like, mm-mm, good luck. Block my song. Took, the girl was like a booking agent manager to me, the Chinese girl who worked with Missy and Mona them. And by next week, she and her mash up my friendship with her. Gone. Block the song. Then the lady said, 15,000 US for the song. You see me here. You don't know what you don't know what's happening. It's a setup long time. Yes, guys. So that was what she had to say. And she sound hurt about it and stuff like that. So we don't know. Marion, I'll get over it. Like get over it. Yeah, yeah Miss Elliot never gave you no song. She and Spice do song allegedly. Um get over it, get over it, get over it. Like me, me don't know. Me don't know what else you're telling to say. Me don't know what every, every week is something new, we don't know. Every week is I don't know. No, no. Well again and again, me like when I put out the things cause I don't help you a lot a lot of people bills. Cause when you come out and farm full on yourself, when you wanna pay the bloggers bills and give them pocket money so continue farming a fool of yourselves. Um now to the, the one of the most harsh stories now. Alright, so in the initial life that spice made debunking what Marianne Hall came and said about her and whatever. Um, among that, I did not put that in my original video, but among that, um, Spice and added Pamputi on the live, and basically what they were talking about is that they were, they were alleging that uh, Minister Marianne Hall spoke ill of Spice kids, saying that they were black, they were ugly, and the whole works, and this was what they had to say. Remember, 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 remember when you call and a ball of me and wonder how and when you start tell me say them a cuss your pitney them me I said Janu you know, honestly I couldn't believe me I was so shocked because I said the end of the day me I said saw one good woman that me you don't understand me I said me I said the queen of dance all of me and God are your pitney godmother so where did you come from all right fine and well and good Spice Carl feel back up she came on the live and she gave her, her account of what happened because Pampute was there. I love Pampute, by the way. She was there. All right. Fast forward to weeks later when everybody forgot about the live and stuff like that. Marion all came back. And Marion all came back with um huge allegations that Spice is... This is Spice family, uh, by the way. She has beautiful, intelligent kids. Very beautiful and stuff like that. She made mention to the girl one. I think her name is Nicola Toy, something like a song very beautiful very intelligent and stuff like that she made she made a mention that spice allegedly 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 wanted to do an abortion with her daughter and she was the one who stepped up and told spice that no she should not do an abortion because marion hall was very public um of her struggles with having children so she was like no she don't she don't want to be a part of that so she's basically saying the girl the the the, the girl that spice's daughter is alive today because of her because spice maybe choose chose her to have a career over her daughter and that that was what she was basically saying this is the clip guys interpret it for yourself go her behavior you know why me and blue hair smurf is no friends she gonna lie to you and say, I said her children black and ugly. I saved that baby. The girl. When she didn't want the child. I say, you see your heart. I'm struggling to have a child and you wanna get rid of that child. Don't talk. Don't play with me, girl. I'm a Christian woman, but stop dragging my name. You want content this week? Hmm? Who saved that little girl? That nice, sweet little girl you have. You want to mess with me because I'm a Christian and you think I don't, I don't talk? Check out Paul, Saul, who became Paul and see if you don't talk. I saved that child and that is why she's living. You say, I'm your child, Godmother. I'm not your child, Godmother. Because when I saw your behavior in real life, how you were, just brawling and dirty and it was not on a stage it was not a performance i said i can't be a part of this girl family no guys oh my god what do you guys think about this 
some of, I don't know what to say, guys. What do you guys think about this? Like, me don't know if you say, um, me can, you know what, I kind of be this size all the way because guess what? Uh, most time, this is not something that you come out and talk about. Like, this is not something that you need to come out and talk about. And abortion is no shame because sometimes, as, 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 um, as ladies, mistakes do happen i'm not saying that spice's daughter is a mistake but just speaking in a general term mistakes do happen sometimes you have kids when you're not ready and you know that you're, you're going to be an unfit mother and you don't feel like say you're capable of taking care of that child doing which a child should be gro um, groomed or whatever so that's why they have abortion option and stuff like that i don't feel that we need to know about this because if you and spice were friends back in the day i don't think that this is something that you should have came out to say you just don't want your name in a flashing light. You just want your name in a spotlight. So you constantly attack. Spice haven't said anything. I mean, I know she said the video them yet. Or her team brought the videos to her. I'm not sure. Maybe she's suckling up to answer tonight on live. Because Spice does. When Spice can't take any more, she'll just come on live and she'll just unload. If she come and she responds, I'll definitely break that video down. And we can talk about it further. But um, it is just very disgusting. Very, 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 very. It's just very disgusting. The child and, the, and then the child is alleged, supposed to be allegedly your goddaughter and stuff like that. And you're, you're basically saying that you told you told her a lie and you went away and somebody put your name on the paper because you, you, you didn't want to be a part of her family. We did not need to hear all of this. Guys, if you want to get more information about their lives, go on the respectful, respective social medias and do so. We don't need to hear this. Why are you just now coming to talk about this? That is why... You make it, you, you, you make yourself unlikable at this point. You're a queen of dance hall and yes, we know your pen game, sick you can perform, but you're making yourself totally unlikable. Not saying that you're not supposed to come and speak your truth and talk your mind because this is a free world, free world. Everybody has the liberty to speak freely. I do believe that everybody should have the liberty to speak free, but we this is something that we don't need to hear about. Like guys, get over it. Like on the candles, me and I still have to do something together. You guys don't have to do something together. You guys don't have to be friends. But what you guys need to do is respect the craft that is dance all. Keep it moving. I respect your craft and your space. You respect my craft and my space. I will keep it moving. We don't need to be friends. We don't need to make a song. We don't have to follow each other on the social media. When we go to interviews, we don't even have to talk about each other. But guess what? There's just mutual respect behind the scenes, and that's that. And just keep it moving. Everybody makes their money. Everybody wins. That's it. That's what you guys need to do at this point. On need to come together and do make a stand. On need to do a tour. On need to perform together. On need to do none of that. What need to do is have self respect for yourself and for the fans and for each other. That's all. This is something that we could have gone with our busy selves and busy lives without hearing. We don't need to hear that Spice was contemplating um, abortion. No, when Spice daughter now go on the internet, because I know that she probably has her own Instagram and stuff. When she go on the internet now, and she say all like, these claims now, as a child now, you know how oh, she feel bad within herself, and then Spice now is like forced, or even maybe Spice have a conversation with her already, because um, Spice up bringing wasn't easy. And due to the fact that uh, her kids have it kind of easier, they have like this lavish lifestyle, there's the money, there's fame, there's everything. So I do believe that Spice sit them down and talk about her background and what she has been through. So if Spice haven't talked about this now, Spice is now forced to have this conversation with her daughter on why she wanted to do, to allegedly do an abortion and stuff like that. You don't do that. You know, old people and stuff like that, no matter what they do you, because what Spice basically came out on her life and address was the type of ways that you showed within dance hall as it regards to performance aspect aspect to the stage and your ways she never come out and i didn't i mean i can't be wrong i don't know if me ever seen me don't know if it, but me don't see it comment down below i've never seen a library spice came out and say oh you cannot have any picnic here. I don't, I don't think that she has ever disrespected you in that way. But she definitely came out and talked about sides to you that the world might not have known because you guys are friends behind the scenes. I basically that message to come out and talk. But we don't need to know about the spice. I'm allegedly doing, wanting to get an abortion and you stepping up. You did not save the girl's life. God saved the girl's life because God, the child has um, Nicola Toy. I have a purpose to be on this earth today. If she was not meant to be here, she wouldn't have been here. Why are you taking God's credit? Eh? At the same thing, me, I say, you are trying to be the savior of everybody and it's not going to work. Like, you can do your sermon them. You can talk about your life experience and your life journey. But leave people out of it. Leave people out of it. She even made mention 
So a little thing why Shem Akadai man must see it's not friend. Let me see if I can find it and insert it right here. You know why me and Maka ain't friends? I was going to England. I was sitting next to my sister. Blue your smurf. Ask my sister to swap the seat with her and chat Maka Diamond all the way to England. They throw us out of the hotel because of her behavior. I did a sandwich spragger. And that's what caused some things because some people was, who were sleeping with him. I've never slept with an artist from my in music business for so many years. Never. So why would I sleep with Spraga when Spraga is with Foxy and Spraga is with Tanya Wuma talking? Tanya used to call me, crying. So she running away to Sweden. Because what happened with so-and-so? You know why she ate me? Because she troubled me and I clapped back. When I clap back, I clap back hard. So she messed with me and I told her that she sleep with a man and the man's son. I put it in a song. And that's why she ate me. Because when they trouble me, I go hard when I go in. You hear me tell you? You know how I'm just, God forgive me. But leave people out here. Like, left people out here. Nobody know what. We don't want no parts to this. Guys, comment down below and tell me what you think. This video is going to be relatively short because an allegation as serious as this merits an answer. So I do feel like Spice is going to come and answer. So fingers crossed. Spice come and keeps it cute or she doesn't answer none at all. But me know if I ever to hurt Spice is going to come and she, the dragation of the situation. I just cannot. I just can't. Guys, me tell you, it is so exhausting to this video. Oh my god, I'm so tired. But Spice, I don't know. Probably I don't you know if it's any sort of woman on the cross, but I don't know you can get basket of water for your car. So, I don't see innocent and I don't see perfect because all of you have ways that can be improved on. However, good grace, man. Like, you don't need to get over this. Get over this, man. Get Are there maybe there are things behind the scenes that we don't know about? Get over it, man. Like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. absolutely not. Anyways, guys. Um, this is what I have to say. Like, me just really speechless right now. Me just have nothing more to say regarding them. Me just want to get over it, respect each other, and move on. That's all. That's all I have to say, guys. Comment down below what you think about it. Guys, I will see you on another video. It's Spice Answer. Don't worry, I got you. I will we'll definitely be catching up and talking about it, guys. Um, follow me on all socials, as I said before. Keep a look out for Raja Beauty because the review video will be up sooner than you think. I'm so excited to show you guys what we have um, in store for you. And um, remember that we're on a roll. Roll to 3K subscribers. Thank you so much for watching. And by the way, guys, I'm going to throw up this milestone. Yes, guys, we're slowly getting there. Thank you so much for watching. It's the views take time going up. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you on another video. Bye-bye.